We're heading down right now to the south end of the peninsula in Cape May. Middle Township Police, along with us, we're gonna both launch our boats. We're gonna run up the entire canal into the bay. It's a critical tactic at this point in our search. Fingers crossed. Who knows what we're gonna come up with. Michael Cardi disappeared from right here in Cape May, New Jersey. He was last seen driving his 2014 Chevy Cruze license plate number N40EUF. Detective Tom Flounders, you were actually the responding officer, initial real officer responding five years ago. Yes. Now detective, so you're very familiar with the case. Yes. Uh, we, we met a lot yesterday morning when we game plan started it out. If you guys haven't seen day one, you're, you're not gonna understand where we're at right now. We went to the first location. Didn't find anything. About 20 minutes from there, yeah. another location. We were there. I did find a vehicle underwater. Oh my God, that looks like a vehicle. That, that looks just like a vehicle. Underwater, this is a very dangerous riverbed. Big, massive boulders. <sighs> did we just find Michael? I dove on it. Good work, John. We were able to rule the vehicle out of being Michael's vehicle. So please go back and check out day one and you'll be completely caught up. We also have Joe here. Joe is a, a local diver, ex search and rescue in the area. So he's got a lot of uh, great skill set and experience and we appreciate you coming out and volunteering your time, Joe. No problem. Yeah. Uh, we just uh, live for this kind of stuff, so. Yeah. It brings closure to family, so that's, the, all about that's it. what it's all about, just trying to help out and being a part of it. We, we really appreciate you being here. Today, we're going to start our search with the first location being uh, one of the locations that he was searching, Michael was searching on his computer it's a high likelihood. Okay, no Why is he searching this area? We also have a, a, a list of locations that was, was in his computer that he was searching, correct? And we have Mosquito Landing, Jake's Landing. We have a lot of area that still cover. Stay tuned, this is one episode you're not gonna wanna miss. For families who have all but given up on finding their loved ones, this team is a last hope. Civilian divers cracking cold cases for free. Let's get to it. Let's, let's knock this first location out. So we're here today at our first location in our search for Michael Cardi. This location is a location that he was searching on his laptop prior, the day before he disappeared. This is, so the significance of this location is pretty critical. And as you can see, there's clear access directly right into this area right here. It's easy access, um, the sheriffs have basically told us that they think this is about 30 feet deep. So we know it's deep enough to hide a vehicle. The water clarity here is very good. We're talking tidal waters. So with Michael's statement, you could find me at the bottom of the bay. This still fits with the bay. This is a tributary of the bay. So we have a lot of searching to do today. Next thing we need to do is get this boat in the water so we can get started. Eighteen feet right now where we're at. Uh, imaging is really sharp. The bottom of the river bed here is very smooth. Uh, really easy to detect any anomaly that may show up.
why was Michael searching this location? You know, this. At the time, Michael Carty disappeared, the tide was going in this direction. So we're going, to, we've, we've exaggerated our search that way against the current that it would have been at the time. Now we're gonna go out here and cover, um, and, it, and we're gonna exaggerate everything we do. So, so we're not missing anything. And right now we are going with um, the direction that the current was going at the moment Michael Carty disappeared with his vehicle. The what? Yeah. Yep. I, I, I would love to, I would love to recover that vehicle. I, re, I really would. Um, with the plates being ripped off, it, it's most likely going to be a stolen vehicle. Uh, however, who knows what's inside of the vehicle? And I, it really leaves a bad taste in my mouth that our viewers have to see us pass up on recovering that car. But I want you guys to know the state police, um, crime scene techs pulled me aside and they told me that they will be removing that vehicle on Monday. They're gonna let me know personally uh, exactly what the case was with that vehicle, if they find anything, et cetera. Um, but it, it just, you know, we, we only have two days here in this region scheduled for this search. And I just, you know, pulling that car today would have um, unfortunately wasted a lot of the time that we had planned for Michael's case today. And I, I just, I, I couldn't allow that to happen at all. I mean, I, although I did give the um, state police detective, you know, and, and open for if he absolutely wanted us to recover the vehicle, I would do it. However, you know, we're, we're working a case and I, I want to just use our resources while we have them as efficiently as possible on Michael's case today. And he said, I, absolutely, uh, don't worry about it. They'll recover it on Monday. And That's good though. I'm glad they were very adamant about recovering the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. So I've run patterns up and downstream and I've come back and forth across all the way up and down. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it was just being extra thorough here. This was this was being the location that he was researching. He got a I mean, it was just really likely that this was going to be the location. So I just on to the next, right? Process of elimination, process of elimination, and we're going to get it. If he's here, we're going to find him. I have no doubt about it. How's it looking? Uh, nothing here. Gets down to about 18 feet. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a ridge out there, um, so it, you know, depending on the tide, it's definitely going to stop it from going out there. Okay. Um, but yeah, nothing at all. Not even any tires. Usually we see tires and all types of stuff. But yeah. on to the next. <laughs> so you 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 think uh, Jake's landing or mosquito landing or? Yeah, we can try there. Um, what would be the closest one from here? Jake's, Jake's, and then if, I wanted to, if you wanted to look at those uh, ones near Ocean City, where like you got the tip from his brother. Yeah. Um, yeah. Be on the way to. This location is completely clear. Now we're heading over to Avalon, where uh, the detective is uh, concerned with that location because there has been a uh, truck found at that location before. It's a boat ramp, easy access, makes sense. It's within five miles of his residence as well. That's where we're heading right now.
14 feet deep right here where we're at 14.5 we're now running our pattern across the waterway here next to the area where a vehicle can come off the other side as well the search location here where we're at uh, it, we pretty much ruled it out. We still have just a little bit more to go. It's very easy to read this waterway. The bottom is very smooth. Any anomaly whatsoever, like a lot of the waterways that we've checked here, is going to stick out like a sore thumb. It's really easy to scan these types of waterways. And uh, you know, as long as it keeps going like this, this location will be ruled out. We'll be able to get back into another location and move forward with our search today. This one's all clear. Gets down to 34 feet out there. And uh, it current's pretty, pretty tough, so uh, we went down way past the marker. I mean, we exaggerated. Huh? There's a few tires and a couple anomalies. I don't know what they are, but they're, they're definitely not a vehicle. Let's knock out Jake's and Mosquito. And then those, those were the areas that uh, the, the, the other agency had scanned previously, correct? All right, yeah, let's, let's, let's knock those two out and then we'll go up to where uh, the brother was concerned about and see if it's even feasible over there. I know, jo I know Joe was saying that it's a lot of diving goes on up there. There's a lot of clarity in the water. So, I mean, with those factors, it's, it's a lot less likely of a location, but I mean, we'll still get to it if, if, if it makes it that far. So we're heading over to Jake's Landing, which is an area the detective uh, really wants us to check out. It makes sense. It's near his home. <coughs> um, I do know that the state police has uh, searched this location with sonar. However, when we work these cases with law enforcement and families as well, we have to be able to look them in the eye and tell them that these locations are completely ruled out as well as not crossing search locations off our list based on the theory that they have already been searched if we haven't searched them to us they have not been searched yet so to be thorough we're going to search this anyway although we have the intelligence that state police has already searched it Hey, it, 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 everything happens for a reason. Yeah. You know, and I'm completely used to coming in, searching, and it's, you know, where we aren't successful. However, what we did made us successful. Right. You know, because outside of us here, when, if we are unsuccessful, millions of people are going to see this and they'll be like, oh, hey, I'm from that area. You guys should have checked this spot or that spot or, mm -hmm. and you just, you never know. So it's, it's, it's not, uh, you know, falling on deaf ears or you're not, we're not coming up empty handed and we still have locations to check. Yeah. Cool. Good. Let's, let's head up there. We're heading down right now to the south end of the peninsula in Cape May. We're going to Middle Township Police, along with us, is gonna. We're gonna both launch our boats. We're gonna run up the entire canal, of all the way up to the ferry into the bay and rule the entire south portion of the peninsula out. What that's gonna do moving forward, if we're unsuccessful, is it then allow all of our search efforts to be focused there north. It's it's gonna clear a lot out. It's it's a critical. Um, it's a critical tactic at this point in our search. It's very methodical, and that's where we're headed right now. Who knows what we're going to come up with. Fingers crossed. Go. 
This is it. This is it, bro. Come on, bro. Yep. Let's get it. locations too you know right everything that seemed feasible you know and you can't really put this case in a five mile radius because the man likes to drive a lot so everything at this point seems like a feasible location or at least logical yeah yeah so at this point you know you just got to take more bodies of water have not been searched have not been cleared go clear them yeah you know, that's the only thing you can do at this point yep I completely agree and so doing this canal as well, it's like we're taking a, a long stretch of water that we can put the boat in once and clear it off the map of the game, you know? It'll take like an hour and a half to just go down this entire canal. And yep. we've cleared it, the entire southern portion of this county. Yeah. And we've just got this northern county to clear. And you know, if, if we don't solve it today, we've at least, you know, opened new eyes and, put our heads together for future reference for someone else to come along and hopefully help solve this as well. Absolutely. We could come right off of that. See where that car is right there? With enough speed, you could clear that entire cliff. Everything underneath the bridge looks really good so far. That area over there is clear near that road where it dead ends right there. There's a parking lot over here, like a little park area, where you could probably get a vehicle in over there, maybe. So we're gonna take our time to come by this little section right here. At this point, anything with a, with a field or a house is, is gonna be a possibility. So right now, we, prior to coming into this case and learning more about the area and just looking at it from my home in Oregon, we are starting right now where I wanted to start when we very first got here. Right here in this canal, right out the mouth of the bay, near the ferry, and checking that. So, but that's me as an outsider looking in. You know, there's a lot of shallow water over there. And me paying attention to the major Delaware Bay that's over there was, um, you know, that, that that's an outsider looking in. You know, we've obviously learned a whole lot more since being here and i feel like the information that we've had to work with has been great everything we've done has made sense and we're gonna keep going until we don't have any daylight left oh no yes absolutely if if we are unsuccessful today we will be back However, our unsuccess today doesn't mean we won't be successful. What we've done today has laid the path for us to come back and find Michael. I, I firmly believe that what we've done in the last two days has like laid a great foundation for finding Michael. It's gonna narrow down everything that we need to do moving forward, you know, because we're definitely coming back. We'll be awesome. back. We'll be back in the fall for sure, okay. and uh, that'll give you plenty of time to go over the areas that are left, rule out what's left, what's shallow, what's not, um, and then when we get back, you know, it's gonna narrow it down, definitely. Yep. Absolutely. This is gonna conclude our search for Michael Cardi right now. However, what we've done over the last two days has laid a wonderful foundation for us moving forward. I'm really optimistic with what we've canceled out in the search area. Moving forward, we're able to severely narrow it down. I'd like to take a moment to encourage each and every one of you, if you are not, please subscribe, like, and share. After all, it is you who puts us in this predicament to be able to do what we do. Thank you, and until next time, we have to jump back on the road. We'll see you then.